Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to change the thermostat and your radiator fluid on a 2000 Volvo S40. So the first thing you want to do is get under your car. Um, this is on the passenger side of the drain plug for the radiator. So yeah, passenger side of the car, look for it under the, the front part. So un basically unscrew it and drain your coolant. You want to take the coolant cap off too in the engine bay. Uh, you'll see that a little later at the end. And then what you want to do is take your Torx 30 uh, socket and take these two bolts off to take this cover off. Okay, so once you get those unscrewed, there's just two clips that hold it in, one on each side. So take those off, you can get the cover off. And then what you want to do is take your Torx 40 socket and take these two bolts off that hold the housing to the thermostat on. Okay, once you've done that, you can take it off, and there's the thermostat right there. So all you have to do is just take it out. Uh, make sure you note where the pin is, so that's where it's circled, the pin. So when you put the new one in with the new gasket, you want to put the pin in the same spot. So there I noted where the pin is. It was, I don't know, kind of towards the back a little more, so just note that. It should be in that spot um, on your car too. Okay, so put it in, make sure it's flush in the housing, and then everything is in reverse order. So put the two Torx 40 screws back in over the housing. And then what you want to do is put the cover back on, put the two clips back on, and then screw those back in, the Torx 30s. And then all you need to do is refill your coolant. So uh, I bought the non-pre-diluted -pre stuff, so fill your bottle halfway, half with water. Okay, you're gonna have to do this multiple times unless you have a huge container. Um, and then all you do is just put it into the reservoir. So here's where the res reservoir is on the passenger side of the car at the top. Um, fill it all the way up. Uh, well, you're gonna basically fill up the entire radiator. Fill it up, and then turn the car on, and then you're gonna you want to let it warm up until the fans turn on, and then basically after that, um, all you need to do is just keep doing that until the radiator is full and it doesn't the, the uh, reservoir doesn't keep going down and after that then you're done. You might want to actually drive the car around too a little bit after you finish this process because it's probably going to end up going down a little bit and just monitor it and keep putting more in until it stops the, the reservoir level st stops going down. And that, that way you know that your, uh, your radiator is full. So that's it. Hope this helped you.